Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year. I hope you guys had a great New Year's Eve, whatever you were spent doing. This is my first video of 2019. I haven't been on here for like a few weeks, two to three weeks. Not too bad for me, but I'm back. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about much loved designer pieces of 2018, going into 2019, and where you can find said inspired pieces on the high street for a much more affordable price. Now, there's not gonna be necessarily a particular order in which I like name these pieces. So we're actually gonna start with some shoes. Now, I've really started to like become a fan of this brand called By Far. And I was like this close to buying some just for myself, like a little Christmas present to myself. Um, Cause they were, they were on sale, the shoes I wanted. The designs are so, so nice, but they're very minimal and bare. So I couldn't necessarily bring myself to spend the money. But I'm such an admirer of, you know, their shoes. And I've noticed they have a lot of square toe footwear designs. I was browsing through urbanoutfitters.co.uk and I always kind of scour their website when I know there's a sale on, and obviously it's January, so there's going to be a massive sale. And I just happened to stumble across these shoes that were pretty much identical to the ones that I've been like sorting after from by far. So these are the shoes from Urban Outfitters, and they're so so similar to the by far pair that I've been wanting um, in a black colorway. I'll just give you guys a little close up. And like by far, they have the square toe and it's open, and they have the double strap style. Very minimal, like the brand. And it's like got a small block here, which I just love because it makes the shoe more wearable, more versatile. I can dress this up, I can wear it to dinner, I can even like dress it down like with a pair of jeans. This was on sale on the website. Um, I think I got this for 25 pounds, but I'm not too sure. I will leave a link below for all the items that I do mention. I do think this will be a great holiday shoe as well. I am looking to go away in the next month, uh, so and it will be a sunny country that I'm kind of looking to go away to, so I think these shoes will definitely come in handy. Square toe heels, heeled sandals were massive in 2018. I don't think they show any signs of slowing down in 2019. I also found another deal online in the January sale. I got these square toe heeled sandals from Zara. I'll just show you guys the front. And they have a very thick block here, which makes these actually very wearable, even though they're very high. And I didn't notice on the order, but they have, you can see, like a velvet texture, velvet fabric, which just adds that extra glamour. This was a really, really good deal. I think, I think it was priced at like £70 and it was down to 30 I'm trying to catch the light, but it's like fading fast, so um, hopefully I'll make it for this video without it getting too much darker. My final shoe is this Perspex heel this is from pretty little thing and i just love the design like the pointed toe and it has like the black bottom that black edge which adds that kind of rock and roll effect i think this is like the perfect affordable option if you really admire like the perspex pointed heel trend that is kind of cropped up i've noticed um i think the year before like 2017 2016 it was the open toe, that way in perspex that everyone wanted. Now it's the closed toe, I've noticed in the pointed style, like so. So yeah, this was priced at $29.99, I think, on the Pretty Little Thing website. And I was like, yes, this is for me, this is within my price range personally. Certain other styles I'm willing to spend the money on, but when I know like this shoe's very on trend, I'm a bit cautious of spending money, so I think this is a great deal. This was not on sale, this is to the original price. Another shoe I noticed you can get very similar style on the Zara website is designed by Jackmas. They have a lot of like wooden block heel shoes. Geometric styled. I found some geometric heel sandals on Zara on sale. They were like ridiculously over like I just think ridiculously expensive. Like they're 80 pounds or something ridiculous. And now they're I think they're 30. So that is a bargain, guys. Go, go, cop now. I don't think it's sold out yet. Hopefully not. Also last year Jackmas had a long black shirt dress that was kind of open at the front um, in the collection. I did notice an identical one on the Zara website. I think that was on sale. Again, I would be quick guys to go on the website. It's, I'm filming this towards the middle of January. So I don't know if a lot of these styles are going to be available in all sizes. 
but good luck in your search. I hope they are. I've also noticed on the Zara website that they are selling a lot of knit leggings with an overlayer or like a skirt laid over some like loose fitting trousers. And that is also very reminiscent of Jackmas pieces, their bottom pieces that I noticed on the runway. So some of these are on sale, some of these are in the new collection for 2019. So I think that's again, something that will be very like apt for the transitional season, you know, going into spring when the weather warms up a little bit and you don't have, but you don't, you don't want to wear jeans. Like I think it's a really good alternative. Very unique, but yeah, very minimal. Checks have been big on the runway, especially obviously Chanel. They're kind of known for their check tweed numbers. And I've, you know, Balenciaga did an infamous check suit with the matching boots that Cardi B wore and made them pretty famous. I've seen so many different types of like, vibrant check pieces online. There's a few check like short suits and skirt suits on Topshop, like a vibrant pink, like yellow colour. I've also seen like a jacket with like a bright orange check print from Ragged Priest on the ASOS website. Also what was big on Jack and Mrs Runway all through 2018 and I think this trend will kind of still go into 2019 before the summer when the big bags hit. It was the mini bag trend I kind of think Jack must kick this off. There's a few pieces on the Topshop website, little cute bag. I purchased recently this bag. This is very, very similar to the Jack Miss designs that I kind of saw on the runway. A couple of Kardashians have been seen rocking the Jack Miss mini bags, but I think the actual Jack Miss bags look very, very mini. This to me is like a, like a manageable mini size. I can actually fit stuff in. I think I can fit my phone in here. It has one like round top handle and it's just so cute. And I think it has like a detachable shoulder strap as well. So I could just wear this like around my waist, like a crossbody style. I love this. I think this is also available in snake print on the Pretty Little Thing website. And again, affordable price. Like I just mentioned, oversized totes are gonna like blow up this spring summer season. I've already noticed a slew of designs across high street websites, not necessarily in stores yet, but there are a couple of nice totes on the Mango website. Very large, you can kind of tuck under your arm. It's obviously a complete turnaround from the mini bag trend. I'm still loving the mini bag trend, and I think that is going to still be around for like at least the next two, three months. Bomb bags have been popular for like the last, I don't know, like two to three years, I would actually say. But the size of the bomb bag is what is always changing in terms of what's popular. So Kim Kardashian obviously sparked the flat bomb bag trend and like also mini at the same time, like a flat size. Last year, I've noticed that the big oversized bomb bags, again, in keeping with that oversized bag trend overall, is creeping up as like the accessory to watch. There's also an oversized style with stitching detail on the Zara website. I think this is kind of inspired by Balenciaga's charm bomb bag that came out in 2018. I think I first saw I don't know if I first saw Rihanna rocking it. She has one and she obviously loved it because she was seen multiple times wearing it. I love it so much. I just can't, I can't dish out that money for the bag, but it's such a beautiful bag. And since like, I think it first kind of showed up at the beginning of last year, there's been so many different colorways, black, beige, check, plain, different fabrics. And again, this is like the enlarged kind of style. If I had money in abundance, like that would be, like it's probably the top bag I'd get next, to be honest with you, it's so stunning. Um, I love the little charm detail, but yeah, and also you can add a charm to this bum bag from Zara if you wanted to, like really reflect that same style. I think this is actually on sale, this bag, so it was £80 and it's gone down to like, I think it's 40 That is my collection, that is my kind of discovery of dupes slash just affordable pieces that are inspired by high-end designs. Let me know which is your favourite, which one you'll be purchasing in the comments below. I always try and like change up my videos, I don't want to stick to one kind of formula. At the moment I just like changing up so let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you guys next time.